Bob Bocock. You know, Mr. Bob, welcome back to Keel. First of all, how are you this morning? Great, great. Thank you. Uh, Aaron said, uh, I, I, I said, what is Mr. Bob's official title? She said his official title is Aaron Brockovich's water guy. <laughs> I said, it's got to be something a little more impressive sounding. That, that, that is impressive sounding, but, but obviously you have some scientific credentials and experience. So would you introduce yourself, ladies and gentlemen, Bob Bocock, who is the, take it from there. Well, you know, technically I'm a water resource manager. Uh, I've been a utility director for a number of, of uh, suburbs and, and uh, of Los Angeles and, and ran very large water utilities. So uh, that's, that's, that's sort of who I am and, and where my background comes from. I've been working with Aaron for about 30 years. Uh, actually met her uh, while serving as water master in the Los Angeles Superior it, it, Would it be fair or unfair, because I'm thinking about what you just how you described yourself, would you say you're kind of a water serpico? <laughs> wow, that's a that's a that's a big term. Um, I, I've had a, a, a very blessed career and been able to uh, work in a lot of areas in the water utility field. So, so yeah, I, I I have an opportunity to to literally go into every state in this country and and work with communities on improving their water quality. Bob, last time we talked, we were talking about the brain eating amoeba test in Bozier. We've now had another positive test. And you were hoping to get in and, and speak with the water officials in Bozier. You're going to tell us today that you've had lots of meetings and they're making great progress with you, correct? No, uh, unfortunately, um, I've been completely shut out. Um, when I was here, I, I did a lot of research, actually provided the mayor and the city council with a, a nice four-page report on things that they could do to improve the water quality. Um, and, and I'm perplexed at, at literally, I mean, it's been... It's been more than an iron gate. I mean, they are literally in a black box. Are you are, are you really perplexed, or or do you understand why they they might see you as an antagonist? Uh, I understand how they would see me as an antagonist, but usually you get some sort of a response that just says, you know what, hey buddy, thanks, uh, you know, walk on down the road. Um, and, and I've had that before. Um, a lot of the, the communities, um, you know, embrace you know what I have to offer. A lot of communities say, hey, you know what, you're really causing us trouble. You need to get out of here. The, the good story behind that is, is most of those communities that actually start out on a very negative footing, a lot of those people are some of my best friends today. And, and we always have an ability to turn that around, get things going in the right direction. I don't bite. I'm not here to cause any kind of problem. You know, they say, oh, well, you know, our attorney advises us. We have to shut down and we can't say anything because he's going to sue us. You know what? Google me. Google Aaron. We've never sued a community drinking water. So, so people group. who would perceive you as the guy who comes to town and basically, uh, here's another analogy, the water version of the Freedom From Religion Foundation, you're not the guy who comes to town to sue people. No, absolutely not. You know, it's, what we're here for is the community group forms. If the community group doesn't form, doesn't have an issue, we don't come. We cannot afford to just come in and pick on communities. We come in and work with communities that actually have a real concern where a community group forms. You know, several hundred people came out the last time I was here, and they had very valid questions. And unfortunately, the, the public relations person for the city of Bossier City is not communicating properly with this community. They're not telling them the truth. They're not telling them the dangers of the amoeba. They're not telling them the dangers of the chlorine, excuse me, the chlorine burn. They're not telling them that, you know, the chlorine burn is not over. They're downplaying the fact that they only found the DNA of the amoeba. My goodness. You know, it's like, why don't you just come out, tell your consumers what's going on, and seek ways and seek experience from people who have fixed these problems before. This isn't rocket science. This isn't difficult. What should you know, Bozier be doing I differently, think, Bob? I think there's something more going on here, and that's the frustrating part. Okay. What should Bozier be doing differently? Well, Bozier, as I've said all along, actually has the funding to do this right and they're choosing not to and that's what's that's what's sad that's what i don't see all over this country they just put in you know a major super sophisticated state-of-the-art water treatment plant that cost this community 80 million bucks the engineering firm that designed that system project managed that system constructed that system is now operating that system well they're not operating that system because they turned right around two years after the contract and bragged about saving the community $6 million. They didn't save you $6 million. They overcharged you $6 million. Okay? Now you've got an $80 million plant sitting there on the blocks. It ain't working. Nobody's using it. it. 
Why not? Nobody's using it. They're using the old. They're they're using the old water treatment plant that's letting that amoeba through. Why? If you could figure that out, that's that is the million dollar question for the day. Okay, you did have meetings with Shreveport's water people. Am I correct about that? We are working with the city of Shreveport. Shreveport, unfortunately, well, Shreveport, fortunately, they have the right heart. They want to get things done. They are making improvements. There are there are studies out right now. They're using powder activated carbon. They're trying to go to a, a, a granular activated carbon. Shreveport's heart's in the right place. They just don't have the funding. So if Shreveport chooses to work with us and with the, the group over at LSU today, you know, the city of Shreveport, Aaron and I will go back to Congress and help get federal funding for them. We'll work with the state. We'll work with them. They don't have the resources to do this right. They don't have an $80 million treatment plant in there. If I was Shreveport, I'd go over to Bossier City and say, hey, can I buy that thing from you? I'll give you a dollar for it. You're not using it. Yeah. Now, you're in town today. You're speaking to a class at LSUS. Any other public events? No, no. Okay. We um, Unfortunately, because we've been shut down, um, there, there's not a lot we can report to the community. We would like to work with the community. I've been, re- I've been, very, I've been nothing but a gentleman and very polite up until yesterday with the city. And that's when the community was like, hey, what's going on? And I had to tell them the truth. It's been very frustrating. They've, they've gone into this shell and they're not coming out. What did you say and that so, was ungentlemanly? Um, Pardon? What did you say that was ungentlemanly? You said I was a gentleman until no, yesterday. I was, I've, been, I've been nothing but a gentleman. I've written, oh, what did I say yesterday? Well, it wasn't. A, I basically said I'm very concerned and very suspicious that the city council would shut down like this. And, and um, some of the community members picked up on it as, you know, is, is there some sort of, of, of uh, you know, nefarious activity going on? And I said, I'm starting to get suspicious of that. So that, that's been, that, that could be perceived as, you know, kind of name calling on my part. Okay. But up until, up until yesterday, you know, all I've, all I've been is, is, you know, hey guys, will you, will you sit down with me? Take you out for a drink tomorrow night. Let- Take you out for breakfast. You want to meet for lunch? Nothing. Dead silence. Lastly, rapid fire, in our last minute or so. Do you drink the water in Bozier? Right now, no. W- would you? Would you shower in it? No. Would you bathe your kids in it? Well, the kids, especially not. Would you cook food with it? Um, probably not. Whew. Probably not. Strong, Bob Bocock. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.